Welcome to the Tournament Center. Time for a deck tech. I'm Randy Bueller. I'm here with Martin Juza. Hi. The deck of this tournament so far has been the Elf deck. I was walking down the top tables. It was Elf deck wins on turn table one. Oh, Elf deck loses on table two. Oh, Elf deck mirror on table four. Elf deck wins on five. Oh, Chapin beats the Elf deck on table seven. Okay, we just did round 11 of Pro Tour Berlin. If you cut to the top eight, if you look just at the top four tables, six Elf decks. Two mirror matches, a couple non-mirror matches. This is absolutely the deck of the tournament. This tournament is going to be won or lost based on who's got the best version of the Elf deck or who can beat the Elf deck. Well, sitting on top of the tournament right now is Martin Juza. Martin's had a pretty good year, right? He started, what was it, 7-0 at, Ho at Hollywood, 7-0 at KL? A yep. couple of top 16, top 32 finishes. That's and right. now 8-1 so far this tournament. So clearly one of the best players in the game right now. I want you to walk us through this elf deck, because you guys seem like you've got one of the best versions of the deck. The, the Predator Dragon Kill, I'll ask you about that a little bit later. But first, I really want to show people just how does this thing work? So walk, yeah, us right. through, walk us through a game. Show us how the deck works. All right. So we drew a random hand. Start with the elf. It's pretty obvious. Uh, So you're just building up elves for the first yeah. couple of turns, setting up a turn right. where you get to go off. You go for the highest turn, the second turn, then you keep the creature. Okay. Because you want to draw cards next turn. Sure. This end is kind of weird. But anyway, I guess it would. It's gonna work, I guess. All right. So you start with a glimpse. That's the, really the key to the engine, right? Being able to draw a card every time you play a creature. Yeah, all right. You go with the ranger, draw a card, make token. Right, Hive Master's going to spit out more tokens every time. Now, they're insects, but they're still nice to have extra tokens. Make another creature, get a token, draw a card. And now you've got son, kind of the, the Bursal Ranger, two elves yeah. to get a mana. It's Heritage. to have either the Droid or the Sentinel. OK. Like, this, this game, I probably would have kept the kill till Third four, but I guess you want We're to going for it on yeah. turn three. So it's lot for green. Go for that. It's two more. Okay, so the symbiote lets, lets you draw a card. Right? You bounce the ranger and tap the elf. I think you forgot to draw from glimpse. Yeah, right, right. A lot of mechanics in this. <laughs> Even I sometimes forget to do some stuff. I got two floating, so play, no, I can just use the mana. Play an elf, draw a card, play this one, draw a card, make two tokens. I can just keep drawing some more cards. Sure. Make a token, draw a card. No. Oh, well, let's say I didn't draw the dragon. Ha. Uh, like anytime people. I get to nine creatures, or yeah. like nine mana, I just hoard four or six, like, Six, nine, right. And you course for the dragon. So this was a eat everybody. Yeah. So basically, any random hand with this guy is gigantic, right? Yeah, All these guys like, get like devoured. Like 26, 26 ah. dragon, I guess. I've heard some crazy stories about some big predator dragons. Yeah. Or, I saw Essence Warden came down too, right? You're gaining some life here. Yeah, right. Heard this one story. Predator dragon had to attack three times, like 142 I dragon. I played the mirror today. <laughs> yeah. And it was like we had like both like two wardens, so everyone. Everyone had like 250 life. Wow. Like 75 tokens. And basically, whoever played the Glimpse turn, the Golden Dragon first, it was like 150, 150 dragon. Yeah. And you had, you had to attack twice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I just watched you, uh, some pretty good tech in the last game. The uh, Orzhov Pontiff, I guess, is hanging out in the sideboard. Yeah, we have some good cards in the sideboard. Orzhov Pontiff came out in the mirror match and just destroyed Reigning Player yeah. of the Year, Tomohara Saito. Some, and it's just some, like, some people, blah, all of your guys died. Some people play. Uh, sharpshooter, but you have sure. to wait till it, gets, till it gets active. Sure. And this one just blows the way, uh, blows the board right away. Got a Teague seems yeah, good in a lot of matchups to court out. Yeah, against Drone. Cards that have like breath, uh, explosives. So, tell me about this particular version of the deck, because I don't see everybody playing the Chord Engine. I don't yeah. see everybody playing Predator Dragon. I don't even necessarily see Hive Master in all the decks. And then I don't yeah. see uh, Summoner's Pact in your deck, right? Oh no, yeah. you've got Summoner's Pact. Okay. What's, uh, what are the differences? Are you, is this the right build? I guess so. Like, <laughs> we tested the deck for like four weeks. Okay. We went through all the cards, like all the spoilers, all the sets, like all the elves, all like big creatures for court, whatever. Right. 
and I guess this is the best version we found. Okay. Like, Did the Hive is important to make tokens. Right. So you can hoard for the dragon. Right. Uh, like, the pacts are important, like, to be fast against combos, so you right. don't wait till turn four. You can, with a pact, you pretty much can, with any random hand that has glimpse in pact, yep. you almost always win turn three. Okay. And any random hand with, like, Hive Master and Horde, yep. and not, like, five lands, you have enough tokens and creatures turn three to court for the dragon. Okay. So it's it's a great deck. To it's going to be really interesting to watch. I mean, if I, I've certainly seen a lot of talk yesterday about what's the right version of the deck. There's a mirror entity kill. There's a great shot catapult yeah. pit kill. But then watching the top tables today, pretty much it's predator dragons. Yeah, that's giant devouring dragons. That's how you win the turn that you you combo off. Right. Like you don't have to wait next turn for make your guys 50-50 with mirror entity or whatever. Right. You just win the turn you play the dragon. All right. Well. Sitting in good shape so far at this tournament, 10 and 1. So good luck to you to finally break through to that Pro Tour top eight. I hope so. This is the deck you're going to see a lot of in the PTQ season. So learn it, study it, love it. It's a lot of fun to play. Thanks. For the Deck Tech, this is Randy Bueller.